In this video, I want to discuss combinations. The number of combinations of n distinct objects taken r at a time is n factorial divided by r factorial times n minus r factorial. Let's use a similar exercise as in my previous video about permutations. I have four friends, Kim, Tina, Max, and Alex. Kim, Tina, The only two friends can be set as my favorites in my phone. How many ways can I select two friends? This time, assume that, ma that order does not matter, so it doesn't matter which person is selected first and who is selected second. All that matters is whether or not they got selected to be part of my favorites. A tree diagram may be helpful to illustrate all the different possibilities. This is the same tree diagram as in the previous video. Now, the difference between this problem and the previous problem is that it doesn't matter who is selected first and who is selected second. Therefore, Kim and Tina is the same thing as Tina and Kim said in my phone favorites. The number of unique possibilities is then split in half. That is, 4 times 3 which is 12. So now we only have six different combinations. Here, the number of distinct objects, or the number of distinct friends, is n equals 4. And we're taking two of them at a time, so r equals 2. We could have solved this problem using the combination formula. Now, let's increase the difficulty of this problem by adding two more friends. I have six friends, Kim, Tina, Max, Alex, Simon, and Jeff, though only three friends can be set as my favorites in my phone. How many different uh, ways can the three friends be selected as favorites, assuming now that order does not matter? A tree diagram may be helpful to illustrate all the different possibilities. This is the same tree diagram as in the previous video. This incomplete tree diagram can hopefully at least show us a pattern. For the first friend, I have six different possible uh, choices and for the second friend I only have five because I'm not going to choose Kim twice first and second. For the third friend I only have four different possibilities so that means I have a total of six times five times four equals 120 total different possibilities. So now the difference between this problem and the previous problem is that it doesn't matter who is first, second, or third. Therefore, Kim, Tina, and Max is the same thing as having Kim, Max, Tina, which is the same thing as Tim, Ke uh, Tina, Kim, Max, etc. Let me write that down. The number of unique possibilities is then divided by 6. Since six of these possibilities here, listed here, are the same when order doesn't matter. That is six times five times four divided by six, which equals 20, is the number of total different combinations. If we were to use the combinations formula, 
where n equals 6 distinct objects and r equals 3 at a time, we would get the following. There are 20 different ways that I could choose three friends out of six to be part of my favorites in my phone.